When the latest eruption in the Reckonance Peninsula of Iceland, in the Grindavik Rift Valley, this is the name I've given, started, we were monitoring the GPS data for a long time. That was almost near two months. And we were monitoring this GPS data from the Swartzengi area that is related to the Swartzengi Reservoir, which I have uh, you know, explored for you in the past, is something like an aquifer or a little bit like a sponge is a hydrothermal system that holds the uh, magma and then release it. We found that the, this latest eruption have a magma composition of it is very similar to the Fagradesville, not like the four previous eruptions in this area. So we can uh, most likely be sure that this is a deeper source that is erupting here. As such, counting the days and the GPS measurements that we have for the sourcing as what we have now started again with a lot of bubbles probably is not related to what we will see at the surface. It does not affect the level of the eruption. We are seeing this level of eruption all the time increasing and uh, fluctuating somehow. But now we are seeing it as it's erupting like nothing has happened. Lava flows mostly through the lava tubes, which is a way that this kind of eruptions happen. The gas pressure is not enough to rise it to the very high level. So this goes under the surface, the crust, toward the north mostly. And uh, in one of those occasions that it uh, actually came toward the old Sundunker crater, this is the area that uh, our colleagues went actually to investigate this. You can see their vehicle there. And just one day after that, we had this uh, latest Icelandic Meteorological Office update. This actually helped us to uh, have a scale beside the uh, erupting uh, crater of this volcano. And my estimate was that this is 55. This side of it, which is the north side or northwest side, is 55 meters high. The other side is a little bit less, around uh, 50 meters. Uh, gas pollution is created by these lava tubes. And because we don't see the flow most of the times, the gas pollution is more concerning to us because this is what we see. People continue the normal life. And in the coming days, probably it will increase also. So if you want to, for the air quality, you have to go to the Icelandic Meteorological Office. They have the link there. You can uh, study that. I will provide the link also in this video. You can go for this. And this is basically what they have said in their latest update. I've told you this and I've told you more than this also. More food for the thought to think about it. And uh, I added my own comments, of course, in this. And you can see what they said on those uh, sentences that I put here.